I have had a glass roof sunshade on my Model 3 since I purchased the car. The big problem is that it's a hassle to install and remove. Sometimes when you just need to block the sun temporarily, it's just not convenient to use. Today I have a solution that I frankly feel should have come with the car. Let's check it out now. I would like to thank EVBase for sending me this item today for review. It arrived in a big box. Let's open it up and see what we have inside. Pop the top off and we see the contents. Underneath I'll pull out a bag. Inside of this are two rubber foam adhesive pads that are used as a backstop for the rear window shade. Next is a pair of gloves to be used when handling the trim pieces so they don't get dirty. A small Phillips head screwdriver for the four machine screws used for installation. By the way, these four screws in the back are extras. Also underneath are these long bars inside plastic bags. On one side there is Velcro for attaching the trim panels. They have a U-shape, and screws are pre-installed on both ends. On the other side are labels with arrows. The arrow points towards the back of the car when installing. On the ends are black plastic tabs that will get inserted underneath the headliner on the inside of the roof. Next we have the front and rear sunshade assemblies in plastic bags. The first one on top is the rear sunshade. On this side you can see the trim which is fabric like the headliner in the car. Pulling the shade out to show you what it looks like. It is a honeycomb shape similar to window shades used in a home. On the other side you can see the frame. It's a light aluminum structure. Underneath we have the front sunshade. I placed both on the floor to show you the difference. The front shade on top has a rounded front section and the rear doesn't. This is the front assembly. Note the arrow label points towards the front of the car. There are two black plastic tabs that stick out from the top of the frame. These are used to go under the headliner like those on the crossbar that I showed previously. This is the rear assembly. It also has the tabs and the arrow shows the direction towards the front of the car. It has the same basic design as the front assembly. The metal crossbars are aluminum, which is important since this needs to be lightweight. The bars are of different lengths. The long bar is for the front shade and the short bar is for the rear shade. The labels were installed wrong on this pre-production sample. The arrows should point to the back of the car. It has labels in Chinese, but they will be in English on the final shipped version. The front and rear sunshades each have their own aluminum frame and fabric panel. The frame and panel are attached with Velcro. They come shipped already attached, but I will remove them to do the installation. To separate, just pull them apart. It's on securely since the entire perimeter of the frame has Velcro on it. Place it aside and try not to get it dirty. Here I will take the long support bar and place it in front of the frame. Look closer and you can see that the holes on the frame is where the screws will be attached, one on each side. Remember, the solid side of the bar faces the frame. Here is the rear assembly. Just like the other one, remove the trim panel and place it aside. Note that the arrow label points towards the front of the car. Here I will take the short support bar and place it on the front of the frame. Looking closer, you can see that the holes on the frame is where the screws will be attached, one on each side. I will remove the four screws from the support bars, one on each end of the bar. I kept them in my pocket for the installation coming up next. Usually at this point I will show the tools needed for the project. All you need is a small Phillips screwdriver that was included in the unboxing. You may want to use a larger ratchet screwdriver like I display a little later to make it easier. 
For installation, I'll start with the front window. We're looking up from the sensor console here. The front of the car is the bottom of the screen. Step one, install the crossbar towards the rear of the window. The arrows show that the solid side faces the front and the slotted side faces the rear. The Velcro side faces down. The plastic tabs on each end will slip under the headliner trim. Place it so it goes as far back towards the car as possible. It wedges in pretty tight. Step 2. Take the frame with the Velcro side down and place it so that the side with the two plastic tabs is facing front. The tabs will slide under the headliner trim and then press into place. Step 3. Take the two included screws and thread them over the frame and underlying crossbar. Do this on each side. Once secure, the framing is complete. Step 4. Take the fabric panel and then place it so that the round end faces towards the front. Then push it into place over the frame. Make sure that the Velcro on both the trim panel and the underlying frame line up. Press all around the outside of the panel so that the Velcro strips adhere and keep it in place. Don't hesitate to take it down and reposition if it's not lining up correctly. And then that's it for the front window. Test it by closing and opening the sunshade. Pull the front of the handle and move it towards the front of the car. To open, slide it the other way towards the back. If you want a partial view, you can leave it at any point on this track. Here's a close-up view of the front sunshade installed. And now for the rear window. Step one, insert the crossbar about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters in front of the defroster element on the glass. You can fine tune the adjustment if needed. For my car, this was as far back as it would go. On newer cars, it may be looser, so you can add the two black rubber foam squares to keep the bar from moving back. This is a close up for a better view. Step 2. Take the frame with the Velcro side down and place it so that the side with the two plastic tabs is facing front. The tabs will slide under the headliner trim. Then press into place. Step 3. 
take the two included screws and thread them over the frame and the underlying crossbar. I'll do this on the right side of the car first. And now for the left side. I ended up using my ratchet screwdriver to make the screw installation easier. Once secure, the frame is complete. Step 4. Take the fabric panel and place it so that the label arrow faces towards the front. Then push it into place over the frame. If the alignment is off, just pull the trim off and start again. I focused on getting the front aligned since the rear is not critical. Press all around the panel so that the Velcro strips adhere and keep it in place. And that's it for the rear window. Here's a close up view of the finished installation. A quick test of the shade and it's good. Grab the end of the shade and pull it towards the front of the car to close, and then back to open. The final installed product looks pretty good and definitely has an OEM feel to it. The color of the fabric trim is close enough to the existing headliner. The installation was fairly straightforward and completely reversible with no damage to the car. These shades add the ability to adjust the amount of sun that goes through the panoramic roof glass on the Model 3's front and rear glass roof sections. On long trips, the rear passengers can be more protected from the sun better than before. They can adjust the size of the shade to their comfort. I think this is a great way to have shade when you want it. I have a sunshade that I usually use during the summer, but since it's a hassle to put into place and remove, and it takes up a lot of space, this product provides a better solution, and I will be using it during the warmer months. Other earlier versions of this type of retractable roof used adhesive, which may not be the best solution when it gets very hot in the car. This one uses metal brackets and I feel offers a more solid installation. Since the framing is so light, I don't feel there's an issue of the shade becoming detached. It feels pretty secure to me. I think there are a couple of negatives. The rear window shade may block some of the view from the rear view mirror. The other is the reduced view through the glass itself. The glass area is now smaller due to the fabric frame around the sunshade. Since the Model 3 was not designed for a retractable sunshade, there has to be a compromise. A few improvements I would like to see are reducing the size of the trim panel so more glass is visible. Second, improve the smoothness of the pull. It sometimes requires both hands to fully close the shade. Third, I would like to see the handle slightly wider so that it's easier to grasp. I'm not sure if the headliner color of the Model 3 and Y have changed over time. On my car, the sunshade trim panel is slightly lighter than the existing headliner. However, it's close enough for me. Comparing the Model 3 to the Model Y sunshade, it's an even better version. It comes in one piece and covers a large area of the front and rear passengers. If you're interested in this item, it should be shipping soon and I have a link in the video description. Don't forget to use code RANGER for 15% off this and most items in the EV base store. For the next couple weeks, the discount is 
20%. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.